What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are doing another episode of the build guide and we are going to work on our first starter house. And now we got a comment on the last episode that you guys wanted to see either a desert or a mesa biome starter house. So our first mission today is going to find a desert or mesa biome and we'll go ahead and work on a starter house there. Now this hobbit hole that we've got here will be just kind of our base of operations throughout the season. We'll slowly improve on it, add more rooms as we need more storage and everything. We've got the floating island nether portal out there that we just completed in the last episode. I'll go ahead and make that a little less symmetrical on the bottom in this episode, just so it looks just slightly nicer. But we're going to go ahead and find a desert, so I'm just going to go ahead, gear up, grab a boat uh, and some blocks, and we're going to head out, find a desert, and get working on a starter home for you guys. So I've been searching for a desert biome a little bit, and I did not think the hardest part of this video was actually going to be finding the biome, but so far we are struggling a little. Found a jungle temple! Alright, I've actually been touring around this world for about two hours at this point, and we have actually found a woodland mansion and a jungle temple before we found a desert biome in this world. I swear this world is like 90% acacia biome at this point. Alright, I've spotted some sand and cactus in the distance. I think we've actually happened upon a desert finally. I'm not gonna lie, I think I spent about 3 hours total looking for this. Um, it's actually been very rough finding this desert, but we've actually found one now. So hopefully we can go ahead and get a starter home going here. It doesn't look like we've got a huge desert here. It looks like it just kind of transfers right into the ocean. But I think that actually might work out for some of the ideas that I have for this build. All right, so I've gone ahead, I've cleared out a little area of land here and I've gathered some materials. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get this desert starter home built. Uh, now I've done a few builds in a creative world just to get some ideas going for this I've gathered some sandstone and some other blocks and we'll go through this now since we are doing starter homes These are supposed to be homes that are built in like the first couple days of Minecraft So we're trying to limit the materials that we use to purely what we can find in the desert now Unfortunately the desert biome does not have a lot of different materials We're basically working with sandstone sand and that's about it but for this home, we of course want to add some more details other than just sandstone. So what I've gone and done is I've grabbed some acacia logs and some granite. Savannas are normally pretty close to deserts and we need some type of color in this build. The uh, granite you can interchange with the acacia, but I'm going to use granite for the main just kind of detail lines of this build and then acacia for the doors and other small features. So the main block we're going to use for this is sandstone. That's the most common block you'll find in the desert aside from sand. And it looks pretty decent, especially when you start combining it with some other blocks. Now we're going to make a base here. It's going to be about 9 blocks by 8 blocks. Uh, and you can go ahead and fill that whole little rectangle in. Uh, if you want to go ahead and use sandstone slabs on the interior of this rectangle, that's going to save you a lot of materials and it's going to look the exact same as just placing these sandstone blocks here. Now I've got enough sandstone, I'm just going to go ahead and place the blocks, but I would definitely recommend using slabs if you're short on sandstone and just want to save some materials. Once you've got that base down, we're actually going to go ahead and right next to it, along the side with nine blocks, we're going to go ahead and add two stairs. Now this is going to be the stairs up to the second level of this base. Uh, and it's going to total this thing out to 11 by 8. And then you can go ahead and just start building up the wall next to it. And uh, we'll go ahead and build these stairs up from there. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to make the stairs go up 4 blocks total. And that's going to give us room enough for the interior of this build. Uh, and then also have that second layer on top which we can use more for storage. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get basically this whole build built up in sandstone and then we'll go back through and add all the detail blocks to actually make it look nice. I think a lot of people in this game, when they're building, they focus a lot on getting the blocks first before starting a build. And that's definitely a good way to do your builds, but if you're trying to get a starter home up just to avoid the mobs and stuff, it's always a good idea just to get the actual structure up first and then you can go through and add those details and everything back after to make it look nicer. So now we've got the main first layer of this base built up. You can see it's four blocks tall. We go in three blocks from the left side and then we put in stairs to make the doorway. The stairs are four blocks up and then we can go ahead and start filling in the roof with top slabs here. 
Now top slabs are important for this part because we're gonna be building a second layer and it's gonna be much easier to build that second layer if you have top slabs instead of bottom slabs for this section. So once we have that part done, we can go ahead, head up the stairs and we'll get started on the roof section of this build. Now this roof section is really just gonna be an extra storage room because you don't really have a ton of room to work with downstairs as far as putting a bed, furnaces, storage, everything. So we're gonna get a structure up top here as well. Now this structure up top is gonna to be five blocks by seven blocks. And that's gonna give you plenty of room for some extra chests, barrels, whatever you wanna use for storage up here. And it's also gonna keep consistent with the rest of the size of the build. So then we'll go ahead and build up the walls for this section. These walls are gonna be three blocks high and then we'll go ahead and work on the roof for this portion after, which is gonna be a little bit higher than uh, the three blocks. So for the roof up here, we're actually gonna go ahead and put sandstone blocks on each of the corners and then space them out uh, each one block apart. Now if it's five by seven, this is gonna work out perfectly. And then we're gonna use bottom slabs above that three blocks to make the roof. Now the perks of using bottom slabs right here is that you're gonna be able to hang things off the bottom of them, uh, like any lanterns that you have, if you wanna use lanterns to light this. And also mobs are not gonna be able to spawn on those bottom slabs. So you won't have any mobs spawning up on your roof if you don't have any light up there. So this is what your roof will look like when it's done. Uh, mobs will not be able to spawn on those slabs. Of course, they will still be able to spawn on the blocks. So I do recommend having some sort of light around, but since light levels have to be zero now for them to spawn, you should be pretty fine getting away with some torches just around the other levels of the base here. So now this is the main structure of the entire build. Basically at this point, you can go ahead and throw any doors you want on here and it's gonna be perfectly safe. You're gonna be able to get away with not having any of the other blocks at this point and you can live safely in your survival world. But now we wanna make this look a little bit nicer. And what always goes great with these sandstone blocks is red colored blocks. Now if you have terracotta, that's great. Granite works great as well and so does the acacia logs. And if, even if you have a mangrove biome nearby, the mangrove wood would look really nice with this as well. Ooh, do you think we'll actually be able to get a trident this early? That would be so amazing. I forgot. That is insane. This is the first drowned we've killed in this world, and we already have a trident. Now these tridents, you don't need to have them on your base. They're not super essential, but I think it does really bring the base to another level here. <laughs> So ignoring the tridents, what we're gonna do to actually give this base some color is we're gonna start getting rid of this top layer, just the outside ring of it. And that's gonna include the stairs. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace this entire top ring here with granite. Uh, now the granite ring is just gonna kinda give it a pop of color, but doesn't overpower the rest of the build. So it looks very nice here. Of course, if you already have these blocks before you start your build, you can do this while you're actually building it. It's gonna make that build a little quicker and easier, but I wanted to show you guys that you can just build up the structure without having all the blocks ready at the moment. And especially since this pickaxe just melts through the sandstone here, we're gonna waste a few blocks. But also what you're gonna do with the granite is you're gonna switch back and forth between polished granite and regular granite. That's just gonna kind of break up the textures and make it look a little bit nicer having that broken up texture. And we're actually gonna do the same thing with the sandstone blocks. We're gonna add in some cut sandstone around, which has the same top texture as the uh, regular sandstone blocks, but the rest is smooth, so it breaks up that texture a little bit and makes it look a little nicer. If you have some birch wood as well, you can go ahead and use strip birch logs and sand. Both of those will also break up the texture and make it look just a little bit nicer. So the next step, and I'll show you guys what I mean with that sandstone here in a second, but the next step we're gonna do is add in the acacia wood. So acacia doors, they look nice, uh, look really good with the sandstone and everything, especially the granite. And we're gonna make some acacia buttons as well and place them around the top ring of uh, the main roof. Now that's just gonna add a small little detail, but this is a detail that's pretty common in like Adobe style houses. And so it looks really nice with this combination of blocks we've got here. 
So this is what we've got now that we've added in the granite and those small acacia details. You see that this build is starting to look pretty nice. Uh, it's actually starting to come together as a nice looking home that you definitely want to live in. This would also be a great build if you're trying to expand maybe a desert village or transform one. You could build something like this and it would make it look very nice as well. But we're going to go ahead and keep adding details. Uh, we're going to first break up this sandstone texture so that we have some variance in that. And then we'll go ahead and add some outer details, some life to this so it looks a bit nicer as well. So one really cool thing that you can do with stairs is make these small windows. And we can actually place these at various levels. We'll use this sandstone here uh, and some granite stairs as well to just kind of add some windows into here. This will help break up the texture as well as adding in that cut sandstone. And it's going to give some natural light on the inside of the build and some variance in what you're seeing on the outside textures. So now that we've added some holes into these walls, we're seeing that it's breaking up the texture a little bit, adding some natural light and looking pretty nice. But we're, we're actually gonna go ahead and do as well is start adding in that cut sandstone and also sand. Sand works with these builds as well uh, because it's got the same color palette and it kind of looks like the building is just crumpling a little bit in that section. So you can use sand, but I recommend using it just on the bottom levels of the base because that makes the most sense to where the base would be crumbling. And we're also gonna put some windows into this top section here as well. So for adding in the cut sandstone, what you're gonna do is not follow any patterns or anything. You're just gonna walk around this build, pick random blocks and just start changing them to cut sandstone or a different block. You can use the smooth sandstone as well, sand, anything that breaks up the texture, even the strip logs that I mentioned earlier. And you'll see that this really starts to break up the texture and just make it look a little bit nicer and more natural. So this is what the base looks like at this point. This is still the exact same base that we had at the beginning, but now we've added in a lot of details that break up the monotonous texture that we had before, adds in some color and detail, and now I think what our best option to do now is add some life into this build. Now for my build, uh, and yours can of course be totally separate, different idea, but for mine, we're gonna make this kind of oasis-y. Uh, we've got an entire ocean behind this build, so I think it would make a lot of sense that this is kind of an island oasis. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to add in some palm trees, some water. Now, none of this is actual functional to the build at all, so you don't need to include this, but it does add a nice kind of layer just for the surrounding area that I'm in in this world. I just wanted leaves. I really just wanted to grab some leaves and there are so many mobs over here. I hope this creeper can take them all out right here. Let's run right through. Eh, not quite. All right, now to give this base some more detail, we're gonna work on the natural area around the base. And the natural area around the base is sometimes one of the most important parts of the base. You don't want your base just sitting, not blending into the surrounding area at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to make this area look a bit like an oasis. So what we need for that is water, palm trees, some extra life, uh, like leaves and cactus. And we're gonna put all that together and hopefully come up with a pretty decent looking oasis area here. So I'm gonna work on this palm tree a bit and then we'll go ahead and take a look at how this area looks as a whole. All right, so for this palm tree, I'm using oak logs uh, and I've stripped them of course. And then we're using acacia leaves just because that's nearby. Uh, but this actually looks fairly decent. It looks definitely a little wonky in some places, but trees are supposed to be natural. They're supposed to be uh, just, you know, however they grow. So we can just pretend that this tree grew like this. Uh, you know, it's got perfectly symmetrical areas, but that's completely fine. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and build up another one. So the way I'm doing this is I'm just basically doing two logs at a time, uh, just to give it kind of a uh, look where it's kind of leaning off to one side. That's how, you know, a lot of palm trees look. And this is the best way to kind of put that together in Minecraft. You don't have to use oak logs, uh, but I just think it kind of works for the build that I'm doing here. Uh, and you can definitely switch up leaves and everything to make it look uh, a little bit greener sometimes, but in the desert, most of the leaves are gonna kind of brown out like this. 
The way I'm doing it is I'm basically just taking the leaves out a little bit and then adding a couple that are hanging a bit lower than the rest to give it an appearance like it's hanging out. And then of course adding in some leaves just to make it look a little fuller towards the trunk of the tree because that's where the leaves are of course going to be the fullest. Now in a, a palm tree is gonna be entirely different than this in real life of course, but this is the best way to put it together in Minecraft really. All right, now we've got these two palm trees out front and what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna use up the rest of the leaves that we have and we're gonna start putting them around uh, the actual base, just kind of like we've kind of got a growth around the base. I'm just finishing up some final touches on this tree here to make it look a bit fuller. But now we're going to put the rest of the leaves around the base and it'll kind of bring a more natural, lively look to this base. And we're not going to do any pattern, of course. It's kind of similar to how we added in the cut sandstone. We're really just kind of putting them randomly because it's a natural growth. It's supposed to happen naturally, randomly. So that's what it's going to look like when it's all finished here. And I always like to dig this one block into the ground and put one in. This really kind of reminds me of like the mangrove roots, but I think it always looks nice when you've got those leaves or that naturalness spreading into the ground right next to it. And this whole growth is going to be just covering over the top of the base as well. So now we've got that natural growth of leaves all around the base and now an oasis, one of the most important things is water. And of course we have the entire ocean surrounding this, but we need something closer to the base that makes it look more like an oasis with the trees and everything. Now I prefer to build a pond kind of like two or three blocks deep, make it semi-circular but natural, so you don't want any like direct curves or anything. Uh, what I really didn't think about initially when I was doing this, I've kind of realized now as I'm digging this out, uh, I want to fill this with water and that's going to be kind of difficult when you have it two or three blocks deep But we can go ahead and add in some kelp after to make everything a source block so it evens out okay and We're also going to go ahead and take all the cactus from around this place and spread it around And that cactus is going to add in a lot of natural greenery that works perfectly for the desert biome All right, so there we go. I haven't done the kelp yet, so it's not completely source blocks But it looks very nice on top at least uh, and you can see I've spread around the cactus a lot. We'll add some more up front as more grows. We've got the palm trees in and I'll add in some water at the bottom here just to try to fix this up a little bit. But that basically concludes all the outside design of this base. We've added in a lot of natural looking uh, blocks and then we can go ahead and start looking at ideas for the interior I'm not going to do a full interior right now just because I'm missing a lot of blocks that I need for it like wool to make beds But we can go ahead and clean up the outside area just a little and we've got a completed starter house So now just taking a quick look at the interior to give you guys some ideas What I would recommend is underneath the stairs you dedicate that area to furnaces and stuff just because it's going to be hard to open chests in that area and it's going to get stuffy if you try to put a bed or anything in that area. I'd save the other side for beds, chests, things like that. And then the room up top, that's going to be entirely storage. That's at least what I would use it for, but you could definitely make it a furnace room or even throw your bed up in there with some uh, high shelves with chests, barrels, things like that to store all your items. But yeah, you can go ahead, add in some torches. Torches are going to be your easiest lighting source early game when you're building a starter house. But later on, if you can switch to lanterns or some... Or some type of lamp, that would always look great too. And of course, as always, you got to watch out for creepers. Otherwise, they will put huge holes in the man-made pond you just created. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. I'll be doing starter bases in all the biomes of Minecraft to give you guys a lot of build ideas. And of course, we already cover mega bases, hermitcraft mods, and so much more. So definitely check out the rest of our channel. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.